that's what I'm on this morning. That's what I'm on this morning. Sorry if it's dark right now. Now it's like oatmeal right now for breakfast. This is the 100 calorie packets of oatmeal. This is the cinnamon roll flavor. Uh, the cinnamon roll flavor just this. I'm just gonna stick to brown sugar. This is the first meal of the day. This has been the first meal of the day for I don't know how long. Um, sometimes I'll have one packet of oatmeal. Sometimes I'll have two packets of oatmeal. It is what it is. Depends on how I'm feeling. Um, just because two packets sometimes can, I might not even eat all this. Two packets sometimes can be too much. I don't know why, but it's only 100 calories. I mean, 100 calories each packet. So I did two packages, so 200 calories all together. Plus, I put some honey and cinnamon in there as well. And usually I throw in some raisins, but right now I'm not going to throw in some raisins because I don't feel like um, getting up. So this is our pre workout meal right now before we head to the gym. So, just got here to the gym, about to start my session out with some deadlifts. I'm gonna warm up, of course, but we're gonna go through some warm up stuff, get my hips and glutes activated, um, lower back, uh, do some rotational stuff, and then we're going to lift some heavy ass deadlift stuff, and then we're going to transfer our deadlift strength to explosive power for jumping. We got we got some some. Um, horizontal bounds, vertical and horizontal bounds uh, today. So I found out for the XFL that one of their things that they do is they do the broad jump, but they don't just do one jump. They actually do a consecutive three jumps. So we're probably gonna, I, I'm, I'm, I hope I can find some measurements and see how far I can go. Cause I think like the top numbers is like 36, something like that, 36 feet, I think. Is it 36, 36? Dang, the 36, that's far. Because an 11 foot, 22, dang, that's far. I don't know if it's 36. If it is, that's, that's ridiculous. But anyways, uh, so yeah, and just kind of, you know, work on strength and uh, athleticism as always. So if you guys are interested in strength and athleticism, you are in the right spot. But we got deadlifts with uh, the bands. And then actually, it's, is it bands today or? The deficit I think it's from a deficit today yeah I think it's from a deficit today so we're gonna do deadlift from a deficit today and then push on to our explosive stuff it's gonna have a good time so this gym is where I'll be training from now on uh, hidden gym in Allen which is like, like a 20 minute drive for me which I'm kind of ever since I moved to Denver I've kind of been used to driving a good ways to get to my gym so it kind of prepared me to be out here back in Texas. But we got our powerlifting area all right here. Got the deadlift. I, I wish there was some, like another deadlift platform, but this is it. Got some, uh, some, um, you know, the powerlifting benches and stuff. We got these machines right here, strength stuff. Um, and then like a whole weight room area over there. Of course, you know, this is the main reason why I'm here. Because we have this big turf area right here. And then there's also a turf area back there. And it's like, I think it's almost pretty much 40 yards long actually uh, it's just a straightaway but sometimes people are kind of in the way back there so i don't know if i'll ever be back there but because i mean once it gets like crazy busy this area is full of people too but before we fully get started you already know code to run for transparent labs bulk we got bulk we got carbs and we got the pump yo these two right here together these two right here together I'm telling you, you will have the craziest veiny pump from a workout if you're doing a lot of volume. Hell, even if you're not doing a lot of volume, still go ahead and use that code to run and uh, let's smash it. I've been getting like these weird calls lately, dude. Man, if you want to be lathered up, just Mario Badesco coconut body butter does wonder. You'll be shining. You'll be leaving marks on all the equipment you use and everything. 
put the days of ashiness behind you. I like that the music like ain't hella loud here. It's like subtle, very subtle. to the six hundos, six hundos. See what we can work up to today with this. I want a nice, heavy top set of two reps. I'm, I'm aiming for 705 for two. I don't know if I can do that without straps, but we're gonna try it without straps today. I know I can do it with straps, but we're gonna try it without. We got six wheels, 25 on each side. All right, so we're at the top set. We have 700 on the bar right now. And we're gonna try to hit this. I do have my straps on right now. Um, so you see my finger right there? You see how fat that is? My finger's jammed. My finger's jammed and it's bothering me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on the straps because I don't want to use that as an excuse to wide and hit it. So I'd rather hit it than complain about it because of a little finger. sure let that shit go if I didn't have my fucking straps today. For sure. Not what I wanted, but it was all right. 700, I wanted for two. That was the goal, but after that first pull, I already knew in my head, I was like, nah, that two, that two ain't about to happen. But we about to take what we can today and get out safely, all right? I don't wanna, you know, I can't push it too hard. If I feel like it's too much for me, going up in weight where like I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know if I can get that today, I just I bail out because I guess I got my tryouts next month uh, towards the end of July, four days before my birthday. The last thing I want to do is push it to the limit, you know, for some for some damn views. Nah, forget that. Speaking of views, hit me up on on Instagram at FB After Man. Go ahead, follow your boy. Turn on those notifications for YouTube and Instagram. All right, so right now we're done with the deadlifts. Did a quick little, get my legs together, warm up. Pushing the sled down and back with a broad jump. Now this time we're not running. We're gonna do three jumps. We're gonna try to be low on these because if we come up too high, the sled's gonna tip over. So we gotta focus on doing these jumps and pushing that force horizontally instead of vertically, right? Because with these broad jumps, it doesn't matter, you know, height is good to a certain point, but we gotta get out. How explosive can we be jumping horizontally? So that's what we're gonna focus on right now. I got these two plates on this the sled, three explosive jumps, and then we're gonna do, get off of it, do an explosive jump without the weight. 
sort of importance of what we just did not only helps with the broad jump, but helps in our 40 start as well. Now, one thing with a 40, a lot of people probably do is when you start off, you're probably focusing on launching off one leg. Usually that front leg you're, you're launching off. With the 40, you wanna stay loaded in that, in that position, that start position. And the key is to actually use both legs to jump forward. You wanna use, you have more power in two legs than one. So don't rely on that one leg when you're getting out that 40. You're exploding out using both legs to get out of that start. We're, we're trying to focus on staying low in that drive phase. Uh, there's about five, five times, about like 10 yards. Uh, stay in that like drive phase, just staying real low and focus on finding a good balance between both legs in your 40 stance. Uh, so I'm not able to, if I had like some cleats on, I'd be able to dig down in the dirt, in this turf a little bit. This turf's actually like, almost like some, some legit like, outside on the field turf. So I honestly think I'd be safe to use some uh, cleats. All right, so once again, you know, the focus of, of what we're doing right now, what you guys are watching, is the ability to transfer all that strength, that powerlifting. You know, we're turning powerlifters into athletes while you're still being able to be a powerlifter at the same time, you feel me? Like, we're, we're, we're opening you up to be more athletic while still maintaining your strength. And I feel like anybody should be able to, I feel like anybody, everybody should want that. You know, like why would you want to stay tight? Why would you want to just be strong? You know, open up, be explosive, be powerful, be able to do everything. So this is this is a video, especially for my powerlifters out there who, you know, are lifting that heavy weight and, you know, get you moving. But we're gonna do a vertical jump from the seated position. Uh, seated right here, we're gonna do one, two, three. And then we're gonna try to jump out. We're gonna do this for four sets. And small stuff like that in. A few workouts can make a big difference in your performance, how you feel, feeling faster, more explosive. And it's gonna help in your actual lifts, you know? When you do these explosive movements, these plyometrics. So um, I think I might show up to this rugby practice today, possibly. Um, actually, nah, it's pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty far right now, hold on. Yeah, nah, that's a deep drive right now. We're gonna pass on that. We're gonna pass on that. I'm just gonna call it a day. And, uh, but let's go ahead and head back to the house, get something to eat, and uh, continue the rest of my day. I actually need to do is head to this beauty supply store. It's so easy to find beauty supply stores in Texas, man. When I was in Denver, man, it was like, damn, bro. All we had is Sally's. I need, I need that black folks store. Got that 360 wave hair grease, you know what I'm saying? Got them little blonde waves kicking in. I ain't been wearing my do-rag. That's why my whole, you know, my waves ain't ain't sitting right. But beauty supplies, though. But I'm about to hop in here real quick, get some fake $5 earrings real quick. You know what I'm saying? Looking all nice and bright on this cubic zirconium. And uh, get some hair, uh, hair grease real quick. So I'll be right back. So we're back at the house. Like I said, about to make a quick protein shake. And then babe is at the store. I didn't have to stop at the store. We got some chocolate organic protein. Two scoops will be 50 grams. And it's not thick either with the right amount of water, of course. Actually, we got this blender thing. Hold up. I'm gonna add some peanut butter in this joint. Here the blender go. First off, the protein itself is fine, but adding some, adding a that old scoop of that peanut butter goodness crudeness makes anything better. Ah, oh, creamy, steamy, FB aftermath weenie. I don't even know what that means, but we gonna call it something. I want my hair, so I got bleach right here. Uh, 30 volume. And then, Tony, toner right here. All we're, oh, we're doing is toning my hair. I've already got it bleached. Now I got the T10. Pale, what is this, pale blonde? Just kind of get it even everywhere. Pull out some more yellows in my hair. Let's 
see it. 15 minutes. All right, so I came back with the flank steak. So we're gonna cook all this. I'll see you is pretty normal. It's literally just have smoked paprika, um, a lot of pepper, and some salt. Those three simple and plain comes out tasting nice. I think there is like a prime roast rub actually seasoning that I throw on there. But other than that, man, the season is plain. And then I'm just gonna have this with some rice too. So there is that. I mean, I, simple, no veggies. This is how I'll cut it up right here before I season it. Just kind of like in these little thin places of meat. Is that, is that blood coming out? Ew. Ew, this is a fresh one. That's how you're supposed to season that boy right there. Alright, so the meat is done. I got some black beans on the stove. I should have started them a bit earlier, but that's alright. And then we got some rice in the microwave, which only takes three minutes to finish cooking. And this will take about five minutes. And boom, here is a daily meal from me of the flank steak, black beans, and rice. This is the first of two bowls that I'm gonna have today. So this is now and then two hours from now, but I have the same thing. I like to eat the same thing. Good morning. We are starting our day out with a protein shake and not two, but just one of the um, servings of the oatmeal that I have, the 100 calorie oatmeal that come in like these little packets. Uh, yesterday I had two, today I'm only having one. It's early, I want to get up early today. Had trouble sleeping last night. Uh, I'm just, just tossing and turning. Um, but it's I got up at like 8 o'clock, 8.20 today. It's funny because I set my alarm for 8.20 this morning, or uh, last night, and I didn't even like make it to the alarm. I woke up at like, I don't know, like 8.10. Um, and so I'm up. I want to get my training in early today. I just, I just want to get a better start to today's, you know, just everything. Um, we have training about to happen in a moment at the gym um it's legs and once again you know um speed work agility mobility stuff like that it's always going to be speed work agility mobility and through whatever workout that i do and i think we're on the field later tonight at smu so should be a pretty fun day um allow me to get some rest in between that's the main thing because i want to get this workout done early today and then i want to be able to rest throughout in the middle of the day uh, versus like usually I'll go work out like at noon or like two three o'clock and then As soon as I'm done, I have to come home eat real quick and then go straight to um, Training later. So I want to cut that out. Um, but Yeah, let's get breakfast done and then let's go head to the gym as, as you can see I'm, I'm always at the gym like all the time. So yeah, all right So it's been about 30 minutes since I had breakfast 30 minutes to an hour 30 to 45 um so it is time to departure to the gym. I have to finish up with my supplements. We got transparent labs and growth right here. Joint support, which is definitely safe. Lubricate the joints. Cardio support. This. Never seen a cardio support supplement. Now this right here definitely keeps me going. And we got some nitric oxide. So cardio support, I don't actually take. Uh, I don't know why I showed you guys this now. I don't actually take until my first meal, like my meal meal, not breakfast. Like, okay, my second meal, since it's, it's kind of like correct, my second meal. Uh, but I'll take the nitric oxide right now, the growth, which you're supposed to take before your workouts, and then my joint support. Also, I had mentioned the 100 calories, the um, oatmeal for you guys. This is what it was, the cinnamon roll. Uh, I don't recommend cinnamon roll flavor, but it's 18 grams of carbs, 4 grams of protein, 2 grams of fat, um, good amount of fiber in it as well, so definitely need that fiber so you can properly, and then I'll throw like some cinnamon and honey in it, give that honey, give you extra little energy boost, so that's 
I like to throw it in there, of course, besides the fact that it tastes good. So, all right, I'm about to show you guys a mix for an incredible workout once again. Something this and this is not something that I've been doing with transparent labs by itself, even with I was you know back in the day when I was with other brands, I still had this same setup for my pre workout, and that is carbs. What the carbs are going to do is the carbs are going to shuttle what you're about to take literally, like it's going to make it like times two. So that's why it's important to have carbs with this. You have the carbs, which I'm going to put in now. That's what they do, it helps carry nutrients. We're gonna add the pump. So we got that pump, because the carbs are gonna saturate the muscles, help load in water. And with that, you're gonna want the pump, you're gonna want that extra oxide help. <clears throat> you know, the arginines, uh, nitrates. And then, to make it all sweet, we want to add the bulk. Now we have the bulk and the lean pre-workouts and we have the bulk black, which I have an order on its way to me right now, which is a stronger pre-workout. Um, that's the one I'm going to end up taking uh, for majority of the time. But uh, I do like the change of pace with the bulk because like I said, man, it's, it's um, for the amount of caffeine in it, which is, I, I feel like, I, I seriously feel like it's stronger than the amount of caffeine given, which is good. So, here's my mix. Once again, code to Ron for 10% off. Go ahead and grab you some before the end of this month. And we're all set to go. Let's go. All right, so I got my cleats today. So that'll be starting up after I know my weight training. Oh, damn, bro. See, this, this, I hate this damn thing. Get on my nerves. Let me turn it on, like, randomly. All right, let's get to exercise, workout. I'm not gonna like be like crazy extensive with this. I'll probably just show you like one clip of everything and what I'm doing, and then just kind of like move on until I get to what I'm doing on the turf. Also, if you like the drip, grab the vanquish. Starting out, we got three exercises. They're not back to back, but I'm trying to warm up our lower abs and that that connection with the hips. We gotta work this area of our hips to our to our quads. This connection right here, strengthen that and those lower abs. That's why we do this right here. Because the stronger you are around here in this mid area, the easier it is for you to pick your legs up. And the easier it is for you to pick your legs up, the faster you run. Doesn't matter how much squatting, because you know, squatting alone is not going to strengthen this area. This lower core area to right here. And that's why I like to break down a certain movement, like the squat, the jump look at how your position and then the muscles that are worked and once again break it down and do those specific drills to work those certain areas Moving on, after that warm up, we want to quick fast, it's only 135 on the bar for five sets, eight reps, fast as possible, quick. My uh, jammed finger, as you can see, look at that. My jammed finger is bothering me, it's getting in the way of me gripping it. I could have, probably could have wore some straps or something, uh, but we did that once again, five sets of eight, as fast as possible. Right after those sets, we moved up to uh, box jumps, uh, four sets of three. This was more of a broad 
like a vertical broad jump. So a seated vertical broad jump. So we're doing the Rocketeer, sit back, boom, come down, explode. And we're jumping, we're trying to lunge ourselves forward. We don't want to just go up. We want to propel ourselves up and out, you know, because that's what's going to help me in my broad jump, um, which is going to be crucial um, for me on the XFL trials. So that's the start out. weight stuff, a little bit more isometric stuff, um, hamstrings, uh, we'll probably do uh, the shark pit machine for squats because I don't want to get under a bar today. I want to kind of keep everything loose and I don't want to be like, you know, too stressful on the body today. Just once again, more more of an intensity type of deal. I'm done, I need to grab some food ASAP, bro. I'm about to like, I'm about to pass out. So, most likely I'm gonna, most likely I'm gonna find a Chipotle or something around. I'm just get some Chipotle. Damn, taking off cleats is the worst. All right, so right now what I'm gonna do is get some fast food. Now, six tenders and three rolls is only a thousand calories here at Golden Chick Spicy Tenders. So I'm gonna get eight today and three rolls and four rolls. Yes, I do. Can I get, do y'all have like an eight, eight piece tender? I'm sorry, what was that? Can, can you do eight piece tender? Uh, we got four and six. You want six and uh, you want another two more? Yeah. Two more? Uh, yeah, with a large diet Dr. Pepper and um, make. On the tender, you want regular spicy? Uh, spicy. Gravy or dipping sauce? Uh, barbecue sauce. For your side? Um, can I just do uh four, three or like four rolls? And what can I drink? 
Uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. Large size? Uh, yeah. And you want another two more spicy tenders? Uh, yeah. Okay, that'll be all. Uh, that's all. 17, 17, thank you. So yeah, I was looking it up. My fitness pal. Each tender is like one one twenty or thirty, something like that, fifty calories. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is the six roll, I mean six tenders was a hundred a thousand thirty-two calories. Um and and with three rolls. I don't know how that played out. Let me let me let me let me redo it real quick. Alright, so we got eight tenders right there eight tenders for 696 calories and then we're going to do the rolls the rolls are 600 so i got four rolls 640 calories so 640 plus what, what did i do again so this first meal is 1300 calories and the protein is actually not that bad either so i get 57.6 grams of protein from this and then like 16 more from the rolls somehow I don't know. I don't know how correct that is. What you doing, Dad? Where are you going dressed up? Oh, we're going to some I don't know where we're going. Everybody's going to eat? Oh, this little girl right here can run. Kentucky. But man, did they plan her pizza and the right time. She got second in both the 100 and the 200 SEC championships. But she came here headstrong, ready to go, and she comes out. But anyways, as I was saying, since I got this three that three hour session at the gym, I was literally at the gym for like three hours training, and I have football later, um, which is more conditioning, more you know, high intensity stuff. I I'm pretty sure I'm safe taking in three thousand calories today. I'll have this because my next two meals are gonna be like super low. Like it's just gonna be black beans, um, steak, and rice, both of them, or black beans, steak, and rice for the next one, and then um, finish off the night with turkey, black beans, rice, and turkey, so this meal that's still under 2,000 calories, I'm super chilling right now, I need something heavy right now anyways, so I'm about to put on some one piece, and uh, chow down. My name is Jeff.